Let's make an awesome waving flag animation in Blender. First, we're going to go ahead and add a cylinder, scale it down so we have the desired thickness, then extrude it along the length. Then move it up slightly. Now with the cylinder selected click tab to go into edit mode and add a single loop cut by pressing Ctrl and R and move the loop cut almost right to the top of the cylinder. While still in edit mode, zoom in and select the top faces where we just made the loop cut all around the cylinder by clicking on one face while holding down shift. Instead of moving all around the cylinder to select all these face, we can simply select three faces while holding down shift. Then leave the mouse and hold down control shift and the plus key on the keyboard that will select more faces for us automatically based on our last three selections. Once all the surrounding faces are selected, go to the face tab and click extrude faces along normals. Now that we have our flagpole modeled, let's in a single plane for our flag and rotate it 90 degrees. So that's it standing upright. Scale it to the desired width and length and the position it at the top and try and align it so that the flag plane is almost touching the pole, but not quite. Now that we've done that, we want to subdivide the plane and change the number of cuts to 20. Now that we have the flag, we need to animate it. And to achieve this, we will be using the cloth simulation. So go on the right-hand side to the physics panel and add cloth physics. If we go ahead and click play, we will see we don't get the desired outcome. And the reason for this is we have to make some pins to stick the flag to the pole. In order to do this, we need to go back into edit mode and with the vertices mode enabled, select the top and the bottom vertices on the right side of our flag. Then go down to the object data properties at the top under vertex groups. Rename the groups to pins and click assign to connect the vertices we selected to the vertex group. Then we want to go back to the cloth physics tab and scroll down to the drop-down called Shape and under Pins, click on that and select the vertex group we made earlier. We called Pins. Now the flag should be connected and now we can hit play and voila, we have a working flag. But as we can see, the flag is intersecting with the pole. That's because we need to add collision physics to the pole in order for the flag to interact with it correctly. Next, go back into the flag's cloth physics and under. Object Collisions tab check the box that says Self Collisions. Now if we hit play, we can see it interacts correctly this time. Next, we can right-click and shade smooth, and also add subdivision surface modifier to give a smooth finish. But now another problem arises. The edges of the flag had been rounded due to the modifier. There's an easy and simple trick to fix this click on the flag, and with vertex mode selected, select all the vertices along the edges of the flag. While still in edit mode, click N on your keyboard, and you'll see a window appear on your right under the slider that says Mean Vertex Crease. Increase the slider until you see the edges start to go back to their previous shape. Now if we click play, we will see the flag looks right and it interacts in the correct way we intended. Lastly, we need to animate it blowing in the wind, so for that we need to go to the top drop-down tabs that says Add, go all the way down to Force Fields and we want to select Wind. With the Wind Circle selected point, the yellow arrow in the direction you want the wind to blow and place it somewhere behind our flag, then go back over to the physics tab. You'll see a tab open for the force field. Then go to the slider that says strength and change it to a value of about 1400. That should be enough to make our flag wave in the wind. You can also download a flag image from Google. Then go to the materials tab on the bottom right with the flag selected. Add new material and then under base color. Click on the dot next to base color. A menu will open. Go ahead and select Image Texture. Click Open. Now navigate to where your download image is and select it. If you go into rendered mode, you see your flag texture appear on the model. And there you go. I hope this tutorial helped you. If so, please follow me and like this video. I'll be dropping more short tutorials like this in the future. Thanks for watching and happy blendering.